In this lecture, we will simulate the torque speed characteristics of a three-phase induction motor, using Simscape and MATLAB. Let us first review some relevant theoretical concepts. We begin with the single-phase equivalent circuit of a three-phase induction motor, as illustrated in the diagram shown on this slide. After simplifying and combining the resistive and reactive components, we obtain the equivalent circuit shown below. Next is the power flow in a three-phase induction motor. The input electrical power PN, pin, supplied to the motor is consumed in the stator circuit in two forms, the stator copper loss, PQ1, and the iron loss, Piron, in the magnetic core. The remaining portion of power, PG, is transferred across the air gap to the rotor circuit. In the rotor, part of this power is dissipated as the rotor copper loss, PQ2, while the remainder, PD, is converted into mechanical power to drive the rotor and the motor shaft connected to the load. A small portion of this mechanical power is further lost due to friction and windage losses, collectively denoted as rotational. Finally, the output mechanical power available at the motor shaft, POUT, is the useful mechanical power delivered to the mechanical load. The power flow diagram of the three-phase induction motor is illustrated in more detail by the set of equations shown in the figure on the right-hand side. Next. We formulate the torque speed characteristic equation of the three-phase induction motor. From the single-phase equivalent circuit of the motor, the rotor current equation is expressed as equation 1. From the power flow diagram and the corresponding detailed equations, we derive the torque speed relationship, given in equation 2. By substituting equation 1 into equation 2, we obtain equation 3, which expresses the relationship between the electromagnetic torque and the rotor speed of the motor. In the case where mechanical losses such as friction and windage are neglected, and the electromagnetic torque is assumed to be equal to the shaft torque delivered by the rotor, we obtain the torque speed characteristic equation of the three-phase induction motor, as shown in equation 4. From the torque speed characteristic equation, we can plot the torque speed curve as shown in the figure. On this curve, there are two extreme points. Point K, located in the first quadrant, represents the motor operating mode. Point F located in the second quadrant, corresponds to the generator operating mode. The equations defining the maximum torque and the slip at these extreme points are shown in detail on the slide. If we consider only the case where the motor operates in the first quadrant, in the motoring mode, the torque speed characteristic is shown as illustrated in the figure. Let us now begin the simulation in MATLAB. First, click on the Simulink icon from the menu. Select blank model to open a new Simulink workspace. In the Simulink Library Browser, navigate to Simscape Specialized Power Systems, and drag the block representing the three-phase asynchronous machine into the workspace. Next, configure the motor parameters so that it represents a squirrel cage induction motor. Set the mechanical input to speed W. In the squirrel cage preset model list, select motor type number 15, which corresponds to a 4 kW, 50 Hz, rated speed 1430 RPM motor. After that, Create a three-phase AC voltage source and connect it to the stator terminals of the motor. Save the model file. Next, add the measurement signals of the motor. In the measurement options, under mechanical, select speed and torque outputs, and connect these signals to a scope block to observe their time domain plots. Finally, add a ramp block to generate a variable speed input signal and connect it to the W input port of the motor block.
To configure the parameters of the ramp block, we first review the parameters of the motor. In the parameters section, we can see that the number of pull pairs is 2, and the supply frequency applied to the stator is 50 Hz. From these values, we can calculate the synchronous angular speed in radians per second and the synchronous speed in revolutions per minute. The formulas for these calculations are shown on this slide. The speed input signal W of the motor block is defined in radians per second. Therefore, we use the angular frequency value in radians per second to calculate the slope parameter of the ramp block. Given that the simulation time is 10 seconds, the slope of the ramp signal is determined using the formula shown here. With this setup, after 10 seconds of simulation, the motor speed will reach its maximum value in the motoring mode, which corresponds to the synchronous speed. From the calculated results, we enter the slope parameter value for the ramp block. Now, we can run the simulation by clicking the Run button on the toolbar to observe the results. At first, the program reports an error, indicating that the power GUI block is missing. We then add the power GUI block to the model and place it appropriately in the workspace. After that, we can run the simulation again by pressing Run. The simulation now operates correctly and displays the torque time and rotor speed time plots as the output results. By observing the torque time plot, we can see that at the initial startup moment, there are noticeable torque oscillations. We zoom in on the plot and determine that these oscillations settle after approximately 1.2 seconds. At this point, the torque value is around 62.5. Therefore, we need to add a signal processing block to smooth the torque signal during the period from 0 to 1.2 seconds. This can be achieved by using the sample and hold block. The in input of the sample and hold block is connected to the torque signal. The S sample input is connected to a step signal block with a step time set to 1.2 seconds. In the sample and hold block parameters, set the initial condition to 62.5. After completing these configurations, run the simulation again to observe the results. The resulting plot shows that the torque signal has been smoothed. From the start until 1.2 seconds, the torque value is held constant at 62.5. After 1.2 seconds, the torque signal follows the measured torque output of the motor. Next, we add an XI graph block to display the torque speed characteristic curve. Please refer to the video for details on the connections and parameter settings. Once everything is set up, click Run again to view the final torque speed plot.
By comparing the results with a theoretical analysis, we can see that the simulated torque speed characteristic in the first quadrant, corresponding to the motoring mode, is in good agreement with theory. Now, we increase the simulation time to 20 seconds in order to obtain a more complete torque speed characteristic curve, covering both the first quadrant, motoring mode, and the second quadrant, generating mode. The simulation results show a more complete torque speed characteristic curve, covering both the first quadrant, motoring mode, and the second quadrant, generating mode, which is also in good agreement with the theoretical analysis. Thank you for your attention. You can try doing it yourself to better understand the process in detail.